Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to What Wednesdays, guys. I'm Jeremy. I'm here at School of What Covent Garden, and this week we are doing a choy sum in a braised mushroom sauce. So this is one of those really classic sort of home side dishes or if you are veggie you just make more of it and it goes really nicely with some rice on the side. I'm going to use a fair amount of garlic for this um, just because I want to sort of crisp some garlic up for the bit of garnish at the end as well as flavouring the actual veg. <laughs> Finally chop your garlic. Challenge you, Linda. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is easy. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fry off about half of this garlic in a fair bit of oil because I want to get it so nice and golden brown, and that's to garnish later on. You want to get it fairly hot, but not too hot. So medium heat is about right. And then when your oil is hot enough, and then we're going to just pop a little bit. It's not hot enough. <laughs> so then when the oil is hot enough, you're going to get about half your garlic into here. Just let that fry nicely. It is good to move it around just so that it cooks evenly, doesn't burn too quickly. The wok's getting quite hot here, so just go careful not to burn your bits of garlic, it'll brown very quickly from here. At the point where it's starting to brown, you want to just lift that off the heat and then take that garlic out. Don't waste that oil, that's got great flavour in now. So we can use that for the actual cooking. So the rest is pretty simple. I'm going to actually braise my shiitake mushrooms in the wok here do everything in the same wok. It takes a bit of time, but I'm okay with that. My shiitake mushrooms, they're dry shiitake, been soaked in hot water overnight, so they're already quite nice and soft. I'm actually going to take a bit of corn flour, so a couple of teaspoons of corn flour, and rub that around the mushrooms. That way, when it hits the wok, it'll just cook through a little bit before the liquid goes in and starts to braise and so quite quickly thicken up. So from here, it's really very easy. I'm going to take a little bit of that garlic oil. It's on a low heat here. Start to cook your mushrooms. And add your sauce. So oyster sauce, a couple of tablespoons. Just get that heat up a little bit. Just cook that oyster sauce around the mushrooms for 30 seconds or so. I've got some rice wine here. I'm going to use a bit for the mushrooms and then more for the veg when I finish it off. So half, half. Higher heat now, just to bubble that up before I pour the rest of the liquid in. Vegetable stock works really well with this, or you could just use the stock from the mushrooms, so the water that the mushrooms have been soaking in. Deglaze that wok, just sort of push around the base of the wok and then bring that to a boil, really easy. Now I've used oyster sauce for this but if you wanted to make this fully vegetarian you could just use a vegetarian stir fry sauce or you can get a really good mushroom extract style vegetarian oyster sauce these days too. So once the sauce has started to thicken, turn the heat right down to a low heat. Let that simmer away for another five minutes or so and then your mushrooms should be done. So we've got a nice syrupy texture on that sauce. It's not too thick or gloopy. You know I don't like gloop. So that's ready. I'm going to just pour that out and then give my wok a quick clean before you finish off the veg. So onto your choy sum. Now the choy sum, I'm actually going to keep this whole and then cut it afterwards just so it nice, looks nice and beautiful on the plate. Take a little bit more of your garlic oil. 
baste that around the wok. And this is gonna can be kind of like a half stir fry, half steam of the green veg. Nice and hot, garlic in. Now you don't wanna overcook this garlic, so nice and quick on the heat there. And then your green chai sum can go straight in. And then your rice wine over the top of that so it doesn't burn your garlic. And a little bit of water just splashed over the top. Bring your leaves into it. With that water in the wok now, I'm just gonna give it one flick. Try and keep them all the same way round if you can, because then it's easier to take them out and cut them and make your dish look beautiful later on. At this point, cover it with a lid, two minutes, your veg will be done. So as you're going, just check your veg, make sure that garlic's not burning. If you feel like you need a bit more hot water, then pour a bit more in. No salt needed, anything like that, because we've got plenty of flavor in the mushroom sauce over there, which is still steaming hot. All I'm gonna do is put a little bit of sesame oil in to finish. I've got about another 30 seconds, I think, because once the sort of stems have gone a sort of gray white in color, then the chai sum is cooked. So I've kept my veg whole so that I can just sit it on the plate nicely. And then the cheats way is actually just to cut it with some scissors, just so it sits more naturally on the plate. Your mushrooms. Just have to lay those over the top. Day. And then your sauce, you just pour right over all those lovely mushrooms. The texture of sauce is just right, not gloopy at all. That's because that corn flour was sort of seared through at the beginning. Slightly strange way of doing it, I would say, but I just find it works better. And lastly, your fried garlic and a bit of coriander. Looks beautiful, and this is gonna just taste really nice and earthy. So, you've got your stir-fried choy sum with braised mushroom sauce. So of course, this would probably be better with a bit of rice, but always tasty, I'm sure. Mmm, the mushroom is where all the flavours at. I get a really nice crunch from the green veg. All about texture and earthy flavours. If you like this type of food and you want to learn more, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our School of Wok channel.